What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, bringing you guys another Pokemon Online battle. And this one was a pretty interesting one, because like you can see from the team preview, I'm pretty much battling my old team again. But this time I have the new team. You guys may remember the one battle where I was basically, you know, battling myself or a guy who was using my team. And that was, you know, pretty an interesting and weird at the same time. But uh, this guy actually has... A Gliscor over Vaporeon. Don't really know how that has been working out for him. Although he did say after the battle that uh, you know, he's been doing actually pretty well with this team. Uh, but anyways, for my old team, you know, I had Vaporeon because, like you can see, all the bo uh, pokes that, that I have on this team have a bit of a natural bulk to it. And when I have Vaporeon supporting them with Wish, it becomes just a really solid team coupled with the you know couple pokes, U-turning and while well, switching around, maintaining the offensive momentum and then Vaporeon, you know, just supporting them with wishes. Uh, that that usually how I, you know, rolled with my old team, but uh, this guy doesn't even have the Vaporeon. But, you know, I uh, guess, you know, Vaporeon is a physical wall, Gliscor is a physical wall, so I guess they kind of, in a sense, have the same role in the team, although not the same kind of support. But, uh, anyways, uh... I guess I could, you know, talk a bit more about the team preview. But uh, for this match, I actually decided to leave with Ferrothorn because uh, um, usually when I use the team, I always lead with Landorus for a reason or another because it just works. So as I was thinking this guy would lead with Landorus as well. And, uh, you know, the worst thing that he could do to me it would be like a hammer arm and I could still take it and then just, you know, use Vaporeon's Wish supports to get it. Ferrothorn, you know, back to full health, but that's kind of going pretty far. But I was just thinking, you know, I can take the hammer arm, set up a layer of uh, spikes, because my team, my old team, doesn't have a spinner like you can see. But uh, anyways, without further ado, uh, I've been already rambling like two minutes. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's just jump right into the match and play it back right now. So, I lead with uh, Ferrothorn, but he actually decides to lead with the Latios. So, uh, predicting the Hidden Power Fire, I'm gonna go into my uh, Vaporeon. And uh, knowing that if he's just, you know, expert belters, I can take anything that he has. And he even has the Energy Ball, which I sometimes carry on my Latios, like you may remember. But it doesn't really do too much, and I just go for Wish. I go for a Scald on the following turn, because, you know, no real reason to go for Protect at this point. And he does go into his Gliscor randomly enough, and he doesn't even have the... Poison heal because I guess he has the um, heal bell on this lantern and I do get the burn on the lantern which is good because it forces him to use the uh, heal bell giving me a free turn to uh, go into my Ferrothorn so he won't be wall switching and gaining the uh, switch advantage. And now he actually decides to stay in and just um, you know hope to uh, get a scald burn so you know that is fine with me because he's a spiking Ferrothorn and I just wanna get up my entry hazards. Mainly for his Scizor, because that's kind of a problem, but it also helps against this uh, Lantern and also, you know, the Heatran, which most likely has a Balloon, if I get a chance to break the Balloon, that is. But I get all my hazards up, all my spikes up, and he still hasn't got the burn, so I'm like, let's go into Conkeldur, and I may be able to get the gods, and what do you know, this time he gets the burn, so that was absolutely hilarious. That could not have gone any better for me. You know, I get all my hazards, Ferrothorn isn't burned, and then I get Guts for my Kongolder. And uh, since I'm kind of running low on health, I'm just gonna go for a Train Bunch, not gonna bother, you know, setting up at this point. And uh, he goes into his last hero, takes a hit pretty well, and uh, figuring he's just gonna go for Psychic, which I usually carry on my Latios. I go in my Ferrothorn to first take that, and then I can bait him into going Hidden Power Fire. And uh, Vaporeon will take nothing from that. I guess I could have directly switched into Vaporeon, but this way it's uh, much more safer. And you know, like you can see, Vaporeon is back to full health again. And uh, yeah, I think I just go for a Scald, because I was kind of just hoping to get the residual damage on the Latios. But uh, you know, in comes a Lantern, get the burn on that thing, you know, kind of is going to cripple him. But uh, you know, then again, he has the Heal Bell and he's just going to get rid of it. But, you know, it's kind of funny that uh, he hasn't been able to use the Vault Switch because he always wants to uh, get rid of the burn first. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to set up my lead seed, lead seed here 
on the lantern and uh, figuring he's not gonna stay in uh, I'm just gonna go for another lead seed on the switch and he actually directly switches over just going for the vault switch although you know it doesn't really matter because uh, because you know it would have done like anything anyways but then again I'm not really sure if he even has the vault switch because I'm not really sure if he used it like did he even use it like a single time during this match? I don't remember. But uh, anyways, I'm rambling here. So uh, you know this. I, I I try to shuffle him a bit. I do have all my spikes up, and they are really hurting this uh, lantern on the switch. As like you can see, it does like a 25% every time he comes in. But uh, I think the lanterns did crit me, but it, it still did like nothing. And there we have it. He does have the vault switch. But he just didn't use it earlier, I don't know why. But I think I just uh, go for a project here on the following turn. Just to be safe, I could possibly leave an energy... I think I could leave an energy ball, but I just really wanted to play it safe. And for some random reason, he has leftovers on his Latios. I really don't know why, because basically, you know, the point of using a non toys Latios is to... Uh, well, the expert Bell Latios is to bluff the uh, choice specs and uh, get a few surprise KOs on those scissors and uh, annoying stuff like that. But I don't know. He's running leftovers, but it actually the funny thing is that it really works for him because I I really have issues uh, getting any damage on this Latios and he's just recovering everything uh, with his uh, with his lefty. So it does work out for him surprisingly enough. But uh, in general, I would not run lefties on Lazios, especially since he's not a calm minder or anything, he's just four attacks and lefties, I don't know. But anyways, uh, we skipped a few turns, but uh, I just take out the lantern finally, which is great, so now at least I may be able to get a burn later on something and uh, he won't be able to recover it off. But anyways, uh, he goes into Lazio, switches into Scizor, and uh, I go for Wish, and um, Surprisingly enough, this Scizor is faster than my Vaporeon because I have EV'd it so that it outspeeds every standard um, choice banded uh, Scizor out there. But uh, apparently, he's running a bit more speed than the usual ones, so he does outspeed me. But it doesn't even matter because he can't really do anything to me. And there he gets a crit with the Energy Ball. I go for Wish again just to play it safe, and uh, good thing that I did because uh, I can just protect on this following turn and. Uh, he can't really take me out, but the problem here is that uh, I really can't do anything to this uh, Latios in return. I'm just really hoping that uh, maybe I could get the burn on this thing and I... Oh, he gets a spec D drop, so that, yeah. I think I switch out on the following turn because of that uh, special defense drop. And I go into my Haxorus here, because that way I can force him into going a move which he hasn't used yet, which is Draco Meteor. Uh, so I'm gonna switch into my Ferrathon to take the Draco Meteor and that way I can get the spec attack drop on him and now I can uh, safely go into my Vaporeon again because although you know I have lost a bit of health you know I still you know because of the minus two I can safely just go into it but he actually goes into his uh, Heatran which does have a balloon of course it would but uh, you know he can't really do anything to me and uh, he does get the, another spec D drop, which is, you know, kind of annoying because I have, haven't really been able to do too much. I don't, I'm not even sure if I know this, this specific spec D drop d during the match. Wow, that was a difficult word to pronounce for some reason. Anyways, I go for Skull, break his balloon. It does a lot because, you know, he's running an offensive heat trend like I do. And um, I switch out on the Latios. And uh, this time I go into my Probo Pass because I know I can, you know, take anything, any hit he wants to throw at me because he doesn't have the uh, Surf. And I, at this point, I really want to get up my uh, Stealth Rocks because, uh, you know, they're going to help me against this Latios too, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But he goes into Scizor, he's going to die to due to all the entry hazard, which is amazing to know that uh, Scizor wasn't really able to do anything and uh, my entry hazards did pretty much what they were supposed to do. You know, deal with the scissor, which otherwise could be a problem, a big problem. But uh, anyways, in comes, in comes Lander is just gonna U-turn out from my Vaporeon. He can't really do anything to me. I just make another wish, and I think I go for a 
scald right here. Yes, I do. And at this point, I'm really just hoping to get a burn on this Latios so that I can get it down low enough so I can revenge kill it with uh, something else because otherwise this Latios is kind of a problem for my team. So I make another wish. Um, not really. I think I could just speed this up a bit. There we go. Because basically, you know, I'm just doing a wish protect without actually protecting because I just go for Skulls because he's not really going to be able to do too much damage to me, especially since he doesn't have the Expert Bell. You know, that would help, but since he doesn't have it, he's not really gonna be able to do too much, like around 30%, which isn't too much. And here I make a wish, and then I just go into my Alakazam, because I do have the Focus Sash on this thing, and I was kind of just hoping to uh, go for Shadow Ball to KO from this point, since he cannot one-shot me. But um, he actually goes into his Heatran as a Death Fodder, and now he goes into his uh, Lenders. Goes for a U turn. I don't want my uh, Focus Sash to get broken yet, so that I can, you know, two hit KO this Latios if it comes down to it. But, uh, anyways, um, he goes into his Latios. He only has like Lenders and uh, Latios left at this point. So I go into my uh, Vaporeon. This time he actually predicts a switch, I guess. Uh, and uh, goes for a Draco, but it's still it's still not enough to uh, deal uh, enough of damage to my Vaporeon, so I can just go for a Wish Protect easily. And uh, he goes into his Landers, locks himself into U-turn, which is just fine. And I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, Scald on the Switch. There we go. And finally, finally, I get the burn on this thing, so I can possibly even. I think I, what, I, what I'm going to do here. It says go for a wish and then switch back into Alakazam, retaining my Focus Sash. And after the burn damage, he's low, uh, he's so low on health that I can just revenge kill him with uh, one, one Shadow Ball. And he actually got a crit and a spec read drop, but it doesn't matter because uh, Wish is going to bring me back to full health. And I still have my Focus Sash, and now all that he has left is a uh, Landorus, and I'm just gonna finish him off. With the hidden power eyes, which I did carry on this, like I said, which I have now changed into hidden power fire because everybody just keeps on bringing Scizor in against this thing. But anyways, that will be a, that will be the match. The second time I'm six -o six owing my own team, which is just really weird. But uh, you know, the fun thing is that the funny thing is that uh, you know, I just know my team so well, so that I pretty much know. You know, I know all the sets, so that of course helps helps me with my predictions. And uh, this guy didn't really make too many offensive predictions, uh, especially you know with his Latios. You know, I just kept switching around with the uh, Ferrathon and Vaporeon, and then supporting my other guys with wishes. And uh, gotta say that really worked out. And uh, I was able to pull off the uh, six zero victory against my uh, own team again. And this was really funny because. Uh, uh, at, at the beginning of this match, uh, this guy didn't know that he was actually battling me, uh, but then he noticed my nickname and he was like, oh, you're a spade, and I was like, yup, but uh, still, this guy was uh, really cool about it, and I don't really mind people using my teams anyways, and uh, we had a good match, it was fun, it was weird again, but it was still fun, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh pretty interesting match and now at this point I'm just repeating and uh, rambling about the same things again like I always do so I'm just gonna end things here so uh, thank you for watching and uh, until next time this is the Flame is Paid signing out peace